OK. Let me close another tab and let's execute find query again. Just command enter. And this query will return all documents in the post collection. That's because we have passed empty object as an argument to the find method. In Robust3T you can switch views of the output. Here you see result in extended JSON format. You see double quotes around each key. You can switch to the views here on the right. Here is a table view and in the table view you see titles of each column, underscore ID, title, post ID, comments, shared, text and author. You can switch to tree view here and here you are able to expand each document. And what is useful here is that here on the last column that is called type, you see type of each value in the document. For example, type of the value of underscore ID is object ID. Title is a string. Post ID is int32. It is int32 because we have explicitly told MongoDB that post ID should be stored as int32. We have used number int prefix here. Then comments is stored as a double because we have not passed any type information here and I have told you that in this case any number will be stored as a double and here you see that. Then shared is boolean, text is array and author is object. We can expand author as well and you will see type of each value in the author object. Name is string and nickname is also string. Ok, let's go back to the default extended JSON view mode. Let's use find1 method. Find1 and here let's again pass empty object. And execute query. And here is just one document. First document that matches this query. Let's find specific document by its post ID. I'll try to find this document with post ID 3015. In this case I need to modify this query object and write here post ID equal to 3015. 3015. And let's execute this. Now I have found this specific document with post ID 3015. Notice that it is not required to add here number int prefix. Of course you can add it like this, number int. But result will be the same and execute it. So result is the same. Ok, now it's time for the task for you. Please find one document that has two comments. Good luck. Ok, how was it? Let's do that together. Instead of post ID, I'll use comments field. Comments and here on the right side I'll pass 2. And execute query. And here is result, this document has two comments. Ok, next let's try find method. And let's find all documents with zero comments. Comments zero. Comment enter. And we have found two documents with zero comments. This one and this one. Ok, now another task for you. Please find all documents that were created by Emily Watson. Good luck. Ok, let's now do that together. You may notice that name of the author is embedded field in the author field. In this case I need to use dot notation here. Author dot name. And here on the right I need to pass value, this one. And let's try to execute this operation and see what happens. Command enter. I'll get error unexpected token dot. It means that if you want to access embedded property, you need to add double quotes here, around the fields, like this. And only now I will be able to find all documents with author.name that is equal to Emily Watson. Here is first document and here is second document. Ok, now another task for you. Please find all documents where text contains programming string. Good luck. Let's do that now together. You see that text is an array, array of strings. 
In this case, we can use just same syntax as with other fields, just like this tags. And here I'll pass programming. And let's execute this command enter. And here is the result. First document, and here you see programming tag. And second document that has same programming tag. It means that you can easily use such queries to find documents by array elements, by specific values, or by values of the nested fields. Let's move on and next let's discuss query operators that are very helpful in finding documents. See you there. Bye-bye.